Okay, so let's have the ray diagramming for convex mirror or diverging mirror. The image that will be formed always by a convex or diverging mirror is always virtual. But we need to prove that using ray diagram. So again, we can use the PF ray and the VV ray. We can always pair these two principal rays to prove that the image formed by a convex mirror or diverging mirror is always virtual image okay so as you can see since we are uh, using a convex mirror or diverging mirror always remember that the focal length is negative okay the sign of our focal length is negative and we always use the behind side of the mirror so we have to give enough space for that for our ray diagramming so i'm going to show you so same thing you have to draw the principal axis or the optical axis and you have to mark the important points here so again let's mark our the center of our convex uh, mirror this would be the vertex and again let's mark the the focal length let's measure the focal length to mark the focal point so that is uh, three centimeter let's have the other side also here so this is the negative uh, focal length or the negative focal point so i'm using red dot to indicate or tell that we are on the other side of the convex mirror and of course let's have the let's mark the center of curvature by doubling the value of the focal length so we have six centimeters as well as for our The negative uh, side of the mirror and for that we can draw our convex mirror or also known as the fish eye mirror okay and the next would be let's draw our uh, let's mark the distance of the object from the convex mirror so we have here Distance of object is 7 cm, so that would be here. And the height of our object is 3 cm. Okay, so this is our object. This is our center of curvature. This is our focal point. This is our vertex. And again, since we will be using most of the other side of the convex mirror, the negative side, or behind the mirror then we will be using more on the negative focal point and the negative center of curvature so again the negative sign telling us that we are on the other side or uh, at the back of the convex mirror so how do we draw uh, the PF and VV ray so again okay let me use the blue line for the incident ray so from the topmost part of our object let's draw a ray that is parallel from the principal axis and since we are using a convex mirror we will be using more on the negative side the negative focal point so it will be reflected as if it came from the negative focal point so i'm going to use the red I'm going to align my ruler as if the reflected ray okay, came from the negative focal point. So that's what it looks like for the PF ray. So since for convex, again, we will use the negative focal point. So that's what it looks like for the PF ray. Next, we will pair it with our VV ray. So same. Let's have the incident ray from the topmost part of our object moving towards the center and it is reflected same angle as the angle of incidence okay so this is our reflected ray so similar on what we did for concave mirror but this time we're going to extend our reflected uh, v ray again behind the convex mirror again 
always remember we only extend our reflected ray behind the mirror if we notice that the actual reflected ray they do not converge in front of it but rather they are they uh, divergently or spreading out so by extending it we notice that they came from a common point okay behind the mirror so the part where they intersect so again remember this is the positive side this is the negative side if we're talking about uh, the difference area for the uh, optical uh, axis so the part where the virtual okay virtual reflected rays converge that would be the point where we can start drawing our virtual image so from this point moving down to our optical axis we have to draw the image upright because it's on the up positive the convergence of the virtual reflected rays happen at the positive side okay so now we can describe the image form by looking at our image so this is now our image so for the location orientation size and type so for the location again um, no matter what we do no matter how we change the distance of the object in front of the convex it's always uh, virtual so we could just say behind the mirror that's the location of the image and for the orientation it is upright for the size as you can see it's, it's always smaller or reduce okay and the type of image it's always virtual.